So in this video, I'll show you how to uh, use Zebra Designer to connect it to a data source. Uh, so in this uh, sample, I will show an Excel uh, uh, database source. So you connect it to this source and how to import the variable data to print across uh, multiple labels. Okay, so let's start. So before we start, I will show you the Excel file uh, that we are going to connect. So this is how the, uh, the sample database uh, we are going to use for this session. Uh, so we have some basic fields, uh, name, employee number, uh, weight, age, and date, and then the blank group kind of a field that we have. So typically uh, you will be using uh, multiple fields who can uh, run into thousands of records uh, on the file. So here uh, sheet 1, sheet 2, sheet 3, sheet 2, sheet 3 are all blank. All we have, uh, the data is only on the sheet 1. Okay, so let me close it. So before you connect it to any data source, make sure the data source is closed. Okay, so let me open the design. So I have created a 4x6 uh, label layout and the printer everything is set up. So I think uh, the previous video uh, enough has been told about uh, setting up the label designer. So let's straight away go to how to see the uh, database getting con get connected to a record. Okay. So here uh, you have this data field on top. Okay. So click that data. So you have multiple database uh, connection options. So you, either you can connect to an Excel data sales source or access data source or you can, you can connect to a text file. So remember, this can be done with a professional version only, which is licensed. Okay, not with an essential. You, you cannot do with essential part. So now uh, Excel, Excel's text file, or if you have ODBC uh, connected uh, data source, you can connect and then uh, get an uh, data from any of the ODBC data source like SQL or Oracle also. Okay. So now for this uh, video, I'll click Excel part. So then the wizard will pop up. So here uh, it just uh, the step by step database wizard comes on. So click next and it is asking for the file where the data source is located. So I click browse. I have stored this on my desktop training folder. Open it and this is the name of the file that I just showed. So click it. So here uh, you have the option uh, advanced setup or test connection. Test connection is to just make sure uh, the connectivity part is all uh, through so if at all if this uh, file is located in a network uh, folder or a shared folder you can always do the test connection part so i'll show you the advanced setup part what is it all about so here if you are, the file has any username password access password that can be set over here okay so the blank password just remove it allow saving password and type in the password that can be used to access this file okay so anyway this is uh, the local file source as of now i don't have any access restriction on this file okay so this is how you do it over here so click next so now it has auto populated the fields that the uh, excel file is having so you can see the name employee number weight age date what all the columns that i showed on the excel file all are here so if you don't want any of the column you can select that part so I don't want the date column to be then, then just select that one and say remove. So that will be under the removed field. So these are only the selected field. Okay. So I, I want everything to be added. So I just say add all. Now say next. So this is the option that you want, how you want the data to be collected and printed by this uh, design. Okay, so now the first option is fixed number of uh, uh, printed labels or the number of printed labels defined by a field in the database. So let's say you want to print this database, uh, uh, the entire data, and uh, you want to define some quantity for each of the records. If that is the case, uh, one of the column can have the number of labels for each record. So let's say uh, the first field should only print for one uh, label the second field should print five labels or the third field field should print no labels so you can put a zero from that column so one column in the excel file excel sheet should have a uh, information on the number of labels you want to print for that particular record so here i don't define that part so you can go for fixed number of printed labels per so if you don't want that and you just want one record to be printed for all print job you can just select one record and you say 10 labels, one same lab, same uh, information will be printed across all the labels. So for us, 
the right option here is fixed set number of printed labels. So the second option, I don't have a, a column defined for printing the number of labels for each record. So if you have that, you can select this and you have to select what is the column that is having the number of labels for records. Okay, so you don't have that particular column here. So that's why I've selected the first one. Okay, so next. So create a label text object for each field or do not create any label object. So if you have selected this, then all the columns that you saw, the name, the age, the, uh, the date, everything will be populated into the design. So I don't want that option because I will choose which record I should have on my design. Okay, so I say do not create any label objects. Say so next. So it is populating all the records. So what all records you have on the Excel file is now listed here. So these are the records that is there. So you can, it is just to have a cross check. And you have the option to do filtering. So you can create filter, add condition and say what condition for each thing should be there so that the print can happen. All those things can be done on the filter part. The same way you have on the sorting and if you have SQL, you can you can have the SQL fields to uh, to mix and match or put a criteria on, on what basis the label should be printed. All those things can be done. So coming back to data. So these are the data source, the, the data fields that we have on our Excel database. Okay. So up to 1000 rows will be shown in this preview. So more than that, it will be printing but will not be shown in the preview area. So now that is the last of the database connection wizard. We can say finish. Okay, so it's all done. Our database is connected. So because we selected not to populate all the objects, nothing is populated here. So now how to get the data to be um, incorporated into our design? Okay, so now I click text and I to make it more relevant. What I say is I say employee name. Okay, so that is one field. So let it be here to make it more appealing. We'll create one more text and put a colon mark. Okay, so that colon mark is over here. Okay, just position the colon mark in the right area. here and uh, so let me just resize that because it is so small so for you to adjust the uh, the position of the text you can always press control and then use the up and right arrow keys up down or right arrow keys so that the micro positioning can be done okay so now one text field and one thing has been added so i just add one more thing so to make it easy i just selected that option selected those fields by by using the mouse and then clicking and dragging it so that the, all the fields are copied i just say control c to copy and then do a control v so it is pasted again so what i do here is um, uh, i take the age field here so let us change that to each so one is employee name the other one is age so I just created two fields to save time so now we have to Im import the data from the Excel data source okay so now let's create one more text field here I click so let us position it correctly okay so now I double click this field now we have this option on the data, right? Fixed data, which is where the text is shown here. So instead of fixed data, click that. So you have this drop down option. So databases book one dot XLS is our Excel file name. And then the sheet one has the name. Okay. So the, the data fields. So now we want the name employee name should uh, come in the name field, right? So that, that is where all the names are listed on the name column. So I select the name. So that so the multiple option comes in. So the first database value is shown here. The name is shown here for you to see. 
so you can all the i have the option of a limited length because some names could be uh, extended uh, uh, names and all right so it should not go on further and further so you can limit how many characters should be there in this particular field so i just say 24 uh, is the maximum it should be having on this particular column right so i have limited the number of characters to 24 say close apply and close so that is the name field where it is going to come and then age also i want to comment auto populate so again you create one more text field so the age is going to come here let us position it correctly and then i double click it so again the same way you do, do, drop it so you don't want to fix it data let's take the data from the so this is our age column where the age will get auto populated so again here uh, age is not going to be more than three characters we can put a three here apply and close right so that is where it is uh, selected and if you want another field i can have a barcode and then we can make the barcode also as a variable field here so, so we'll just select here barcode and let us have the uh, date field as a barcode value okay so here i just double clicked it so sorry for making it so fast so this is your barcode i'm just double clicking it to get the wizard of the particular barcode so here i just drop it down and we'll select the date for the barcode as a value okay so this is where the and you can select how the barcode data format should be the date format should be uh, so I just want only the hour, uh, sorry, uh, month, date, and year, year, year. So that format it is going to show it here. So apply close. So we have three fields being taken from our Excel source. So this likewise you can add multiple fields and then see how. I mean now uh, you you can design uh, as and when as and uh, thing that what you have as a requirement. Okay. And now for you to see how this is working, we'll just go to file, print, and you can see the, the fields getting populated here. So let's say, let's not select all the thing. So I'll select one data here, and you can see that particular uh, name field topic occupying here. So let us select one more data. So that is what it is going to print. So it picks up these data. So all you have to do is select what all records you want to print and say print. All these records will get printed automatically for each label. Okay. So this is how it will get printed. So hope it is clear. Thanks. Thanks for watching the video.